Hey, what's up guys? If you have just updated your phone to iOS 18.2 and you're facing an issue, like a lot of people complaining that the battery drains too quickly. So here are some things you can do to enhance the battery life. And let's jump into it. The first one is background app refresh. So if you go to general and then you go to background app refresh right here, See, allow apps to refresh their content when on Wi-Fi or cellular in the background. Now, turning off apps may help, you know, preserve battery life. So, even it says here. So, here you can select manually which app you want to refresh in the background. Let's say, like, individually you can turn them off or keep them on. Or, if you want to turn off all of them, you can go here and, you know, you can select here. That will... Uh, turn off the background app refresh for all the apps or you can select it once when it's on Wi-Fi you can do it or once it's Wi-Fi and cellular so you can select according to your needs because there are lots of apps so the next thing is if you go to the settings again and then you look for privacy and security so right here privacy and security now here the few things you can do the first thing is location services okay now you can turn turn it completely off but it's not recommended because um, there are certain apps that require your location services let's say you use Apple pay or use any any you know navigation apps so they require other apps you can definitely turn off your location because what happens is it, it keeps using your location even though you are you are not uh, using that app now if you read this you know it tells you very clearly here that location services allow Apple and third-party apps and websites to gather and use information based on, on the current location of your iPhone or Apple Watch to provide a variety of location-based services. For example, an app might use your location data and location search query to help you find nearby coffee shops or theaters. Or your device may set its time zone automatically. Now, it says you can read all this. That tells you the, you know, it's a kind of disclaimer that Apple has given here that they're using your location with your consent even though when you install an app you tell them ask app not to track but still they're using your location you know and it's a good idea to turn off that location and the in the same section there's a tracking so the tracking allow apps to track your activity across the companies now you see as you can see and uh, you can do that from here or you can either select individually from app to app so this is also another factor that uh, your battery is being you know drained so quickly now the next thing is if you go to general again and then you go to privacy security which is right here somewhere and then you go to system services so here system services or let's do it analytics and improvements first so here you know i've turned off the share icloud analytics you don't need that share with app developers make sure this setting is off as well because what happens is they share with the developers you know who has created the app and as you can see here help app developers to improve the apps by allowing apple to share crash data as well as statics about how you use uh, their apps with them so make sure all these toggle switches are off okay because that that's those things they consume battery for no reason and they should be turned off completely okay and then the next is um, system uh, system services so to do that you go to let's start all over 
uh, general general privacy security. So you go to privacy and security. And here you see Anyway, there are a couple more things you can do. Uh, you gotta make sure in app, if you go to app store, your all the apps are updated because sometimes that helps as well. You know, if the app needs to be updated, that also uh, consumes battery for no reason. And other things you can do is you can reset all settings. If you go to settings again, and go to general and then you go all the way down to transfer to reset and here you click on reset now here reset all settings so once you do that it will not uh, delete your data but it will it will reset all the settings you know sometime after updating a new ios uh, you need to reset all the settings after you update if and um, Another thing you need to make sure the battery health is minimum, you know, I'm telling minimum is 80 plus. So this one is 88. So when it's 88, it's at maximum capacity. So this is the measure of battery capacity relative to when it was new. Lower capacity may result in fewer hours of usage between charges. So as long as it's 80 plus, you can do all these things, what I told you. So th that way you can, uh, enhance your your battery life and that's it for today and i'll be making another video on detailed features of 18.2 so don't forget to follow see you next video